regardless how cold it may get, I tell you that, see, my yes shit, you understand? My, my yes shit, rough. I think she have added rough to it, then it just cements and seals the best expression that we can give ourselves. Listen, the president said that this year is going to be tough. So if you definitely play the song in the background for yourself, you know, in very warm conditions already after Hamantan, regardless of the rainfall that will come, trust me, yes yeah, shit. It's all good, though. It's beautiful song by all standards. Now, this man just knows how to drop the right song, release the right song, use the right words to get us, you know, songs that become timeless, if you ask me, and no other than the man himself, live in the studio this morning with us here, the man himself, Ochiame Kwame. Now, you know what? Whilst we applaud, and I say what? This man is so business that everything he does, you have to question it because there's some <laughs> element of business in there. Something, he just doesn't do it for passion's sake, like, you know, because I want to do music, I'm doing music. No, no, no. There's something in there, and that that is what precedes my first question to you, that what was the business around the song? What no, were you selling? This one? Yes, this okay. one. So, you know, this song came off the... Uh, Made, really? made in Ghana album. album. And that album, uh -huh. I recorded 10 songs. Yes. Each one for each region. region. Okay. Mm. And the visuals will represent that region. So this one for, was for Ashanti region. Uh huh. It has band to mind all those places. So yes. The business behind it is. <laughs> and and <laughs> you see, you see, so you see uh, there was uh, many, many years ago, we mm. a song, I have vitamin A. Vitamin B2 together. <laughs> we 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 yeah, so, so this song, if you listen, you would get to know <laughs> towns in Kumasi. Mm. Easy. Mm. Ashanti region. Yes. Easy, that's yes. And also, the, 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 there's a cultural undertone. Mm. You know, the, when you go to Kumasi, KNUST, you have to enter a stool. Yes. So yeah. the yeah. whole video is about ah, the stool. Exactly. I the whole too. video is about mm. a stool. Yes. You know, and then the uh, golden stool. Yeah. The, the whole thing, the whole Ashanti thing is about. So, so when you enter an Ashanti house or an Akan house yeah. and the stool is tilted, it means either the head of the household is dead or has traveled. Oh. You know, so that's why it starts with a tilted stool. And the lady leaves and then she comes back to, the, to sit by me on the stool. So the stool represents the soul of the people. Mm. So this is just uh, something that we wanted to push mm -hmm. You know, so the whole thing, so the next video is um, I see about, about Ghana. Yeah, okay. exactly. The next one is about Western region, the, the Bogatanga girl for Northern region. The business of it was mm -hmm. that we are selling Ghana mm -hmm. through mm -hmm. visuals. So where's the part so. where the stool is down? That's what, when, when it starts. Okay, when it starts. In the beginning of the video. In the beginning of the video. I think we just watched the visuals so, without even uh -huh. noticing. Yes. Mm, 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 mm. I mean, look, like I said, like it, everything that Ochami Kwame does has got something to You're it. right. He just doesn't do things. Even when you walked in here with the yellow, I wanted to ask you maybe. Oh, no, uh, no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that sorry. Is, there okay. it is. There yeah, it is. there it so is. Okay. Ah, ah. Wow. So in this case, what does it mean? It means the the person who sits next to me, which is the woman, has left the house. Mm. You know, that's what it means. So when the stool is down, like see me, I'll be deep. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so you make these inputs yourself into your videos, oh, or yes, it's of yes, the director's. Yes. Um, yes. Yes. yes, mm. yes. Wow, so, that's. Uh, we that's... directed it, but I made all these cultural. Little nuances. Mm, yes, mm, you know. oh, I'm sure the director is he himself. Is he the same as he was? No, we, we are seeing. Seen director. We are seeing director on the no, screen it's as. A, it's, a, it's, Kofi. An error. it's an error. It's an error. Kofi is seeing. Nah, that's what it came with. Kofi is working. So by the time it's ending, you see that the stool is up and she comes back. That's what. Bro, bro, bro. So it's just come back home because your stool has been tilted. Wow. Well, is but this... Jay, tell us how we watch visuals without really... <laughs> yes. You know, we're just looking at countless I mean, so I've watched this video like a countless time and I've never thought of it the way he's narrating but I mean, but it. But when, when you watch me, you don't know there are a lot of things around you. <laughs> no, you don't tell know. us, tell, tell us. Tell tell us. You. Asylum. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, to you, is this hip life? This one. Or strange. High life. Strange. Be uh, I don't know. Wow. <laughs> to be, I have to be honest no, with you. No, but if you don't know, that's a very big problem for all of us. Because... The Made in Ghana album was a high life album. Mm. Okay. Mm. That was the the, traje the trajectory I was on. I was recording a high life album. Mm. But once there's the fusion of hip hop in it, it makes it hip life. But how much of hip life am I drawing? Maybe 30%, it mm -hmm. says 70% high life, 30% hip life. But if you take a song like maybe uh, Masanaba or something, that one is like 50% high life, 
fifty percent hip life. Mm. Mm. No, but this one I draw more from the high life mm. than I draw from the hip life. That is so. The where do we put it? Like okay. so, where do we put it? Oh. If, if for instance, if it comes up in a conversation, I want to say, oh, the owner of the song says this is it. Because I know that we've oh, had an opportunity fusion. on the Three Music Board to talk about this song. And I think that um, uh, Steve called you. Yes. Steve had to call you and put you on the phone. So let's make it like um, official. Where do we put it? So that tomorrow when we are engaged, we know what we are saying. Yeah, it's difficult. But I, I, I think we, we, got, we can call it hip life. But mm. honestly, the, the, the whole album was, I was trying to mimic the high life sound of the, of the independence era. Okay. Mm. That was the sound I was looking for. So, That's why it has horns and ringing. So would guitars. you say it's a high life project with rap as yes. your means to communicate, or it's a hip uh, life project no, those, with those, high life? Those, those uh, are the second one. I think the first one. It's a high life project, project with, with, with rap. rap. With, with rap. Yes. yes not a hip life project with yes. uh, 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 colonial era beats. No. Yes. But is that not the definition they give to uh, hip life? Or is, is it, they say it's high life with rap. No, but but that's. The, it's not just high life with rap. Right. I've seen that there's high life with with hip hop drums mm. because hip hop has a certain drum structure. Drum structure. Mm. So that must be present, and then the presence of the rap, and also the length of the rap. Mm. Also, so if it's a as eight bar, eight bar, then the whole if the song is say fifty bars or or sixty 16. bars, and there's only 16 bars of that 60 bars as a rap, then it's more high life. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm. Then, mm. So you need to look at the, the amount of hip hopness that is drawn into the high life. Mm. So I think that is the thing mm. that's going to tell whether it is a high life song mm -hmm. so like or a hip life song. Mm. Yes. Well, yesterday we're honored to have him of the last two and uh, Ochami Kofi join us on the show. Well, we're talking about the um, also, you know, from the documentary you watched released recently by BBC about nine days ago that journeyed the story of um, hip life in Ghana, where, of course, some stakeholders had uh, some concerns because not much was documented properly in there. Um, and, you know, there are, there are various versions to the story, depending on where you sit and where you're coming from and how you saw it evolve. And I beg your pardon. And the big question that we ask that, is it still alive or has it come to an end? Uh, these are questions and things we want to discuss this morning on the show as well. Were you, have you seen that documentary? Yes, by I, have. I have. Um, what, are you, what is your general opinion on, on the documentary? I, I see that um, it has been curated to tell a, st a certain storyline. And every storyteller, every videographer, or every director has an uh, agenda mm -hmm. before they mm -hmm. go into making a documentary. Mm -hmm. Therefore, whichever agenda BBC had was the guiding principles of the type of people they selected and of the, of the, the type of hero or heroes they decided to project. Mm -hmm. So I see is that the, they have curated the whole the whole video or documentary to project Reggie Rockstone. Mm. You know, it mm. there's no doubt. Mm. And they found younger people who have been influenced by mm. Hip Life and Reggie Rockstone mm. to to tell the story from a young per person's perspective. I also see a, a business angle where they take Kwame Eugene, Kiddy, and young people. Manifest, you know. Like, people who are known outside Ghana, so that when BBC broadcast, their relevance will be felt wherever Kwame Eugene and Kiddy are felt, from India to mm. Puerto Rico. Mm. So they looked at the business angle as well. But I think the whole hip life story cannot be bottled into a 30 minutes documentary. So they must make a first one, which if they have chosen Reggie, as the head of hip life, there's no question about that. So they must make a first one and inspire you and I to continue the story. Mm. So I, I, I think they've done a brilliant thing. Mm. It is for Reggie to be on BBC with Kwame Eugene Kidi and Manifest, mm -hmm. it's better for Ghana than when there was no hip life documentary. Mm. But is it not, is it not also? Um, a disservice to us that we have not been able to tell our story properly, that somebody is telling it to suit the artist. Uh, so it's not a disservice, it's a lesson to you. It's a, 
it's a it, it, they are talking to you. Mm. See, this is what Africans have been doing every time. We are waiting for the Hollywood to come and shoot the Tarzan story. Mm -hmm. I get a white boy swinging in the trees, and then mm. we are complaining. Mm. We sit down for them to take the Anansi story, and they do uh, Spider-Man. Spider -Man. And then we complain. What is stopping us? We have cameras. We have storytellers. What is stopping us from making our own hip life document? Go the last, the last, no, but I, I want to ask the last, the last one. Before, we tried. Yeah, <laughs> yes, because I was going to say that. Haven't we tried in this country? And Achami, I'm sure that you know that we have. I've, I've been on that, platforms where they've tried to tell the hip life story. And what happened was the fight and the bicker or the bickering over. Uh, yeah. It is not this person who originated I it. I remember so very well. Yes, I remember very well when I used to be at the multimedia group that Hit FM took upon itself to tell the story. I remember Andy Dusty and they said, oh, don't give it to Reggie. Zap has to be involved. This person has to be involved. We can't give the credit to this person. At a point, it was so much of a confusion Press, yeah. that even we, those who were trying to follow the story, had distorted, you know, information. So it didn't but, make any... But that is natural. See, when I show you my hand, mm -hmm. if I show you the back of my hand, you can only see the back of my hand. Mm -hmm. You don't see the palm. Mm -hmm. yes, I, so I am looking at hip life from Kumasi. Mm. You know, four hours drive away from Accra and what native phone clothes are doing, what Reggie is doing, what uh, everyone else is doing. I didn't see it. Mm. And same way, people in uh, Accra did not see what we were doing. I started mm. rapping in 1991. Mm. I done three raps five years before Reggie released his thing. But I didn't call it hip life. Okay. Therefore, we need to, if he called it hip life, we need to give him that. We, I don't think we need to fight over who gave the nomenclature. <clears throat> The issue is that storytellers in Kumasi must tell the hip life story from Kumasi. People, in, it, might, it might be told about myself, Lord Kenya, and everybody else, like a kaboom and every, we need to tell that story. People in Takwa, they must tell the story for, with Sasquad, TH for Kwajis, ending up with uh, Kofi Kinata. And then people in Accra must tell the Tema, people must tell the story. Yeah, Nafti is there to, pro, to produce storytellers. Who have, now you can use just a phone mm -hmm. and a good audio device to tell your story from your own perspective. I don't think we need to fight over perspectives because nobody has 360 view. You we all see subjectively. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You said something very important that I want to go back on. Um, for me, in 1991, I mean, I'd never even fathomed or think, thought about um, uh, a rap in, uh, in vernacular or in any mm. local language. Mm. I had, it had never crossed my mind. All I knew rap was English. Mm. You know, but you mentioned that you were, you were, you were doing this... No, not just me. Myself, Lord Kenya, Swazi B, Sassi Pak, Tebo B, uh, Lota. Mm. It was a whole movement. As far back as 91. As far back as 91. What was wow. the reception like? It was a, it was a thing. That what is why, okay, that is why when hip life became popular, Kumasi took over. Because we had been rehearsing. <laughs> okay. Where were, you, where were you practicing this or where were you doing it? Is it schools or? In, in schools. Okay. So in 1991, I completed my O levels in 93. So in 1991, I was in Form 4. Mm. And so I was representing, I was in the same class with Lord Kenya. I was representing my school, Kumasi Anglican. And then people from Konongo, Dumasi, that's where Swazi B was. Okay. People from Prempe, we would meet at the Golden Tulip at what's called City Hotel. Mm. At least once every month for a rap battle. Wow. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You know, for a rap battle. And so, and I know that different things were going on in Accra. There are mm -hmm. the big boys in East Legon, Kwekuti, mm -hmm. and all that. They're also doing their thing. And mm -hmm. they released their songs um, way back. Way back, way back. Uh, yeah. two years before Hip Life. But they didn't call it Hip Life. We didn't call it Hip Life. I remember Ochami Kofi in 1994, when we decided to become musicians, we were calling our, our music Afme Osibi or Rap Osibi. Wow. No, that? <laughs> because, <laughs> because, yes, because we were taking inspiration from Osibisa and trying to add rap to it. So if we had broken out first and mm. we had developed the concept of rap OCB, would it be fair for someone to come from Tema to come and say that they created it? No. If Reggie and um, Ibrahim Hinijan and uh, they, Zap Mallet and Rap Rap and all those people created hip life. We need to give it to them. I don't think that we need to fight over the name. All of us must come to a point that every human being is not God. We all see subjectively. No one sees objectively. You can't mm. have 360. Therefore, however someone tells a story, that is their, their way of expressing it. We should mm. not fight over mm. how BBC is 
is selling a BBC agenda. You think BBC cares about Ghana? They don't. Uh, there's a song that we did. Damn, I've got it. Because I am where links uh, all star. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where on the on 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 my in my rap, I say that um, beating me is as rare as find a happy African chilling on BBC. That is how difficult it is to find <laughs> happy Africans on BBC. <laughs> you know. Yeah, so they tell their story their way. They tell the story the British way, so that they will sell the British story. Why are we here in Ghana fighting over it? Mm. Why? Mm. I know, I know. It, it's it's. So you have given a different uh, perspective to you know all this. Uh, mm. Probably I, I have personally not even thought about it the way you have shared it. That you know, um, it was probably drawn to highlighting Reggie. And then uh, the influence of Reggie, that's why the newbies were added in there as well. And then also considering artists that are, have a certain level of popularity in some countries, so that when they put it out there, it's content that those countries can relate to as well, because mm. it's not just being shown for Ghana, mm. you know. So it's, it's, it's worth looking, in, looking at, the, at it that, that direction. However, I want to ask you about, um, yesterday Hammer had mentioned that he feels hip life is not, we shouldn't actually say it's a genre. Uh, but it's a movement. I don't know if you 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 sharing buy into that. or share into this uh, as well because of the various rhythms that yes, you know, come I, together. I, I, I agree completely. I agree because I remember before Reggie released his song, we couldn't find a producer. So whoever we would go to, they would say, oh, why don't you sing like that, that Lumba or Kwegwenpi or mm. Amachi Dede? Everywhere we went to, mm. we like this thing, but this rap is noisy. Mm. It's irritating. Mm. So why don't we... <laughs> You guys go and, and make music like Kojenji. And when Reggie released, then we found a producer the next month. Why? Because he had opened the gates. And so it was, and for me, as a young man who was growing up with dyslexia, who didn't have a voice, when I saw Reggie in his camo and his singlet and his dreadlocks screaming to oh boy, it gave me a voice, it gave me a personality, it gave me a way to really look at myself that I could also be somebody. And that, that is the foundation for building a movement where all young people who really wanted to be cool had to do what Reggie was doing. That it like became that a movement. To be cool. mm -hmm. Yes, you are, to be cool and hip life gave us a voice. Be before then, they used to play Tupac in the clubs 24-7 or play High Life. And we were missing. There was nothing for nothing young people in Ghana. Exactly. But when Reggie did his thing, all of us went under it. I remember the first time I saw Reggie at campsite. I almost collapsed. Wow. I was starstruck. Yes. Wow. Mm. I went mad. I couldn't believe that. I, that was how impactful he was to me. And yes, I don't think it's just a genre. I don't think it's a sonic experience. I think it's a movement. And it's a shame that we couldn't continue it. What made us not be able to continue? Where it's, did we slide? It is all of us. Mm. Me, Ochami Kofi, Reggie, Obrafo, all of us. That's why we did a song, We Are Killing the Game. I mm. saw it. Mm. I saw it. We, we are all businessmen. We know that the most important thing in business is innovation. If you don't innovate, you become yeah. obsolete. Yeah. Every single day, Facebook, who is making amazing money, they add a new feature. Mm -hmm. It got to a point where we became stuck. We're not adding new features. Which I'm right. Because we innovated from, like you said, from Tupac, Naughty by Nature, Nick Amozi. That all fed into the reference to, to, the sound. to the sound. So why did the sound elevate to a point and stop? Why did that reference? Because Reggie's story, he talks about his New York uh, experiences and how he translated that. Your own experiences, everybody had their source material and on the buy mm -hmm. to become what hip life became. Why did that stop? A lot of reasons. One, the first one is that at a point we became complacent. That's the first one. Afa. Afa. And the sound had already been established fusion of rap music, hip hop, and high life. And the people loved it. So let us, no if, more it, work. if the wheel is not break, broken, let's don't, not fix, fix it. it. That's one. The second reason why Hip Life sort of dipped was because at a point it became boring. Mm. It became boring. So when we, they created the Accra sound by Zap, and then Morris created the Kumasi Hip Life sound, 
And then Hammer created the Accra hip hop sound mm. for much younger people. Mm. And then JQ created the Ga High Life sound, which was the Jama. Mm. Mm. Exactly. And then Apiatus created a certain fusion, fusion. of yeah. that and some Calypso vibes. You know, all coming from what Zap Mallet had done. Everybody, if they will be honest. So at, at that point, we realized that, okay, this is what we've been able to create. Then all the five different hip life sonic experiences started competing with each other so because there was no dialogue. And so, <clears throat> and so even my own brother Stone had a, a, a song, even when Azonto was coming off as a, mm. a foreshadow mm. to mm. Afro pop mm. and as a, as a consequence of hip life. Mm. People started saying, Shemiya was on to Shemiya, but they were hip hop. They were saying, Hip hop was on to four, Jama, Hama sound, one, Jama. But all of us, we came together to pull it Suppress down. Suppress it. The true yeah. unnecessary but competition. That, that, that unnecessary competition has uh, existed between every step of evolution of the Ghanaian sound. Why? Because, like you are saying, it killed, that competition killed hip, uh, hip life. Yes. Because People had a problem with Shesuya Wazuntu. And that same, when Azuntu finally took the center for that one week, we also killed it. We killed it we and killed we replaced it. it with an illegal name. We, we now call the dance and the sound Al Qaeda so that internationally people will reject, reject it. it. So, how did we, we do that? Exactly. Mm. So, we need to. I just remember that we had Al Qaeda. Yes. Yes. Oh, Which was the same it. sound as. The same sound as Azonto, the same dance moves, but because... Who, who, who about that? We need, we need to find the person. Because it was, the sound... There was a phrase in the no, song, where they yeah, are no. that they started dancing. You see, there was oh. even a difference in the type of Azonto. Teshi, Labadi, Osu, the coastal areas owned Azonto. But when Azonto was popping, even those areas had their own way. Some of the dances were this one, it be that they dance this kind of Azuntu from. It be also side way that they dance this kind of Azuntu. So from that difference is where the breakage came, that Al Qaeda. Really there were exactly. different, it was, it was even more than Al Qaeda. There was yeah. Azuntu, there was Al Qaeda, there was some other one. Uh, there was so let, let, me, let me finish the boy, point. Boy, boy exactly. came inside, all, all, the, let, let all me, sorts let, of, everybody, everybody wanted to own it. Labadi people say, yeah, they boy. So the same Azuntu track, they had a different way of interpreting and dancing with it in Labadi nice. than Osu. Rather than the collaborative effort to elevate it. It is just a gift and a case. But I think that to add to the to the creative or the, the, the creative and sonic reasons why hip life came down, one key thing is also business. We didn't do very good business with our stardom. We didn't do very good business with the music we had created. First place is when you go on iTunes. And you try, that's one of the key reasons why my Made in Ghana <clears> album was a high life album. When you go on iTunes and you are looking for a knob to buy hip life music, you can't find. Wow. So if you put your music online, anywhere, As hip life. it must go into Afro the category of either no. Afrobeat, alternative music, or experimental music. And that's a miss. Mm. So if someone, the Ghana boy in UK who just bought a phone that wants to listen to hip life, they cannot find it, must now go on Google to do a research to find where my music is. He's not going through all those things. So we didn't do good music with the marketing. We also didn't do good music with the branding because all of us had become popular. Because mm. if you realize, you see that almost every hip life artist that made money from Run DMC to Jay-Z to Nas, had to do a certain brand association and create a physical product or a service. Mm. We couldn't do it. So at that point, SAC was one of the earliest ones to try to create the SAC brand, the SAC mm. brand and try right. to translate it into a physical product. But the pricing policy beat him mm. because he wasn't making enough numbers for the um, economies of scale. Because yeah. if you are buying a thousand singlets mm -hmm. you can, you can get but if you are buying 200 because you are starting <coughs> because yeah. there's not it's enough capital business. it's difficult business so because for young people i'm watching my son i'm trying to re i'm trying to introduce my son to high life music but he's mm -hmm. not interested he's interested in hip-hop why because for young people they only follow tradition if it inspires them mm -hmm. but it, if it has failed the people who are propagators of that particular there's no inspiration agenda, there's no inspiration so I think this and many other reasons, attitude, uh, pricing policy, stage, shows, timing, um, a <coughs> lot of reasons why. Because all of us were young. I was 21 
when I sold my first 100,000 CDs. Mm. I was 21. I was interested in using the money to buy a sports car <laughs> and open mm. the rooftop and have three girlfriends in every city I go and perform. <laughs> that makes, mm. that mm. makes 10... Mm. Uh, how, many, how many regions were in Ghana? Uh, 10, uh, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. <laughs> You know, so that was what most of us were interested in. Another key thing was also we didn't have people who had the proper understanding of administration, marketing, branding, and business. strategy to help us do the business. Because if someone has gone to do an MBA, he's going to MTN to find a job. Mm. He's not coming to follow an artist mm. who eventually become ungrateful. Mm. <laughs> Legal, contracts, people. Uh, you know, so it is a... It is a, uh, uh, it's a whole system. A whole system it's failure. a whole system failure. Mm. That we need to bring it back to the national level we need to really look at it from the unionism level. And we need to look at it from the Ghanaian level. Why do we take something that we have created and throw it away and then cry when someone has come to make, take it to policy? Hmm. How do we, um, I mean, you've partly answered it though, but okay, so I rather want to ask, we didn't see the, the pit we were digging at that time. Do you see any pit where we are digging now? Now? That I, we should be back in 10 years' time not to have a conversation like years, this. But 10 years, <laughs> but I, I think, I think we, we still haven't sat down. We are all ranting. I'm sharing my mm. ideas. Kofi sharing his, Reggie sharing his on Twitter. We are all still ranting. We've not had a conversation. We've not sat down at mm. Reggie's office to decide, guys, you're failing. Yeah, you know, you're failing. Hey, plus, hey. you're right, you trailing. It, it, it. We, we need to sit down and relook at how we can trace our steps back so that if we are going to reintroduce it, we do. Because hip life is not going anywhere unless younger people decide to be a part of it. And they can't find a knob on iTunes. They are not stupid. They will not say they make hip life music. Mm. So we need to find a way. Sit down with government. We need to find, we need to try and let the cultural policy, you kick know, in, yeah. kick in so that there will be, there will be, mm. uh, there will be policy guiding the whole art and culture in, 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 in its relation with media and its relationship with governance and its relationship with taxes. You know, so we need to sit down. Mm. Otherwise, we will keep ranting. So it, whether hip life has a future or not mm. will depend on an 18-year-old rapper or a singer saying that I'm a hip life artist. And I think I'll be blunt on this, that, oh, sorry, um, that um, an artist like Flo Kingstone, I feel Ghana didn't do an artist like Flo Kingstone well. Why? Because he, the, the, his whole persona was clearly emanating culture, like his whole image. Mm -hmm. But the acceptance of the whole swag jeans and tattered jeans and crop Foreign. top, you know, uh, and and because look at brothers at that time, mm. you understand. Mm. And they were doing the if you if you want to explain hip life <laughs> to me, they were doing a perfect yeah. classic example of a fusion of high life music and rap, yes. you know. But unfortunately, um, how uh, you know the center of this whole entertainment circle in Accra here would perceive and cut off geographically <clears throat> cut off Kumasi was one. Secondly, embracing culture, you know, was another. Um, and I mentioned even accent. For the people who speak very typical good tree, you know, there's a certain borderline. When you try and, and I, I mentioned this here, when you try and yeah. speak very, very, very good tree in this country for music, there's a certain line that's drawn. We had a conversation about eth eth ethnic ethnicity. Ethnicism. We had a conversation about that and its impact on, on our music and even how we have cut off certain languages and certain tribes because look at how, uh, you know, we, we will perceive that from the Volta region. Um, how many fancy artists have we even projected? Aside from Kenata and Papi, you know, do we even give audience the rest? Um, what have we done to the SARS squad and the Teeth for Quadges? All these people have suffered issues of language in this country, if I'll be blunt. You know, so for me, I sit back and I say that, look, if I'm going to uh, place rappers for a competition outside this country, Floating Stone is one artist I'll put there. And I am guaranteed 100% that he would not fail me. He would sell me as yes. a Ghanaian. Yes. You know, but we didn't do well for, for all these artists. You've, you've, you've taken it up for a bigger conversation, Jay. It's not just about the artist. It's in our film. It's in our fashion. It's in our language. It's a flex when you can't speak your mother tongue. It hmm. means you are affluent. 
Mm -hmm. Mm. You understand? When you somebody introduces you to their little kid and the kid can't speak tree or ga or fancy or everything. No, no, it's it's, it's, English. It means that I be no no. No, he can speak English, but I can't yeah. speak their mother yeah, tongue. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you can, if you can't speak English and you speak the local language, mm. it's just a, yeah, yeah, your head dies. Your, your head dies. House no good. Yeah. So we have constantly looked down on ourselves. There's a lack of knowledge of self. We don't, we don't appreciate what is ours, mm. and it starts from beyond music. Music is just one of the unlikely victims of this syndrome. Mm. It started chair, and partly because we don't gatekeep the influx of foreign materials and influences into our territory. And then secondly, we have um, a, a foreigner praise, some syndrome that the moment something is foreign, we elevate it above Beyond. self. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's clear in how we treat foreigners. It's clear in how we treat foreign content. It's clear with the See priority we to give to music. Mary album. Yeah. It's as if it didn't get the same traction as... Exactly. Because it's too close to home. <laughs> yeah, it's too close to home. Hmm. Yeah, and that's the reason why things hit in Accra. Because things hit in Accra because we perceive Accra to be the closest mix of foreign and local culture. It's the closest thing to Abroche is Accra. Right? So the hmm. further you go to authentic Ghana, the less authentic your experience is. So Kumasi will never be as... But that yet, we will hail, or whatever we will hail in our minds. Hine is celebrating, right? you know, yes. something royalty in yes. the Santa Kina. We will yes. all be like Ghana, wow, Ghana, blah, wow, blah, blah, blah. wow. Yeah. But when yeah. it comes but to... If, if, if there was a picture of a mansion and you ask somebody that, do you want your mansion in Kumasi or Accra? He will tell you that, put it in Accra. Because Accra be where you go pull the most flex. Exactly. You, you get it. And that's, 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 that's what affects every other but, thing Ole, you were going we to create. No, I mean... Hmm. I was at all. Oh, yeah, I mean, Charlie, like these revelations are just. Uh, I, I just, I'm just curious to find out, Charlie. So, what was the? Because you talk about culture policy, right? What was it like back then? H how was the government environment like? You know, <laughs> were there intentional efforts by the then government to make sure that such, you know, a wonderful product? I know, I'm saying anything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because later, <laughs> later they accepted it, right? And then hip -like became that export, the, the same way Hala became that export. So I, I just want to find out what's, what's the difference between what was it like then hmm. and now? To, to be honest with you, I do not think that um, leadership, Ghanaian political administrative leadership, mm. really cares about art. Hmm. Even from that? Volume it, yes. volume it, volume even, it. Even yes. from, from not at all. today. So, so I, I talk to a lot of MPs and, mm. Mm. and ministers mm. from back then, not MPP and DC. Wow. And they, they, they say that, oh, I don't know much about your industry. As though, and they say it with such flex, mm. as though ignorance of my industry means you have class. Mm. You know, mm. they, they for no. Mm -hmm. You know, so I know that in Nkrumah's time, mm -hmm. he would, everywhere he went to, he like an American artist, yeah. president, would travel with an artist. Yeah. If it, before Ghana became Ghana, when Ghana was, was Gold, Gold, Coast, Coast. Gold Coast, there was, there was a high-life group called the Ghana Trio who yes. used to play with him. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, so some people, including Atamils, may God Rest his soul. keep his soul, have been interested in the art. Some people, but not all leadership. And so the whole idea <laughs> of, of take some money do research, do this, do that, sit down, let's solve, let's resolve problems, arbitration, mm. let's do that, mm. let's put money in research, mm. you know, and development. Let the universities also find out what is happening, pop culture, anthropology, mm. sociology. Mm. Mm. Everybody has a role to play, including the media and gatekeeping. Mm. You know, so I am not blaming anyone, but I remember that before I became... Ochame Kwame, this is around 95. When you recorded an album in Kumasi, you had to take it to Musica for someone to listen to your music and to find out if it doesn't have verbal taboos and wow. this, that, and the other mm. before wow. you be given the permission to release it. Wow. You know, now, because of the internet, I'm producing my music on a laptop and pressing it and releasing it on Facebook. Mm. How do you censor that? And also, because of now the concept of um, rights, right. freedom of speech. Yeah. How are you going to censor what I'm saying in my music? Are you not infringing on my rights? Mm -hmm. you know, but I, I just want to say that all in all, the whole Ghana political administration has not done very <coughs> well with curating the arts 
and turn it, turning it into an exportable product and using it to create employment for people. But I want to, I don't like blaming people. I want to put it at the doorstep of the post Gorgesberg economy. Mm -hmm. You see, the white man that came to rule us for a while wasn't interested in arts knowing our culture. Mm. He wasn't interested in arts developing our creativity and our technical skills. He was interested in creating accountants, lawyers, and English teachers so that they can be translators, people who, to count the money. To do his bidding. Exactly. Everyone else was to be in the bush yeah. cutting Mami. timber. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so, so that they can use the Takra, the, the Kumase, yeah. Accra Railway to organize all that timber and send it to England, mm. gold. So you can see that the whole education system, the whole economic system workers. was to make sure that they get to send things to England. Now, post when they left, it is our responsibility to trace our steps and to go reset. back reset. to reset. That is what we have not done. That is why the dollar does this. That's why hip life fails. That's why high life failed. That is why we, our music cannot become international. That is why our creatives are running to go and live in England and in Germany to go and do coding. That is why we are not a part of the creative story because there's a big hole between who we are and where we are going. So as in um, black men or let me just say Ghanaians trying to use the template of the white man to fix their problems when really we have our own solutions to our own problems. Exactly. So unless we go back and once we go back there Flo Kingstone will be one of the greatest artists in the world because he's drawing from the source. Right. You know, but uh, do, do you get what I mean? Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that, that's the devil's I wanna, advocate. I want to jump on what the response to uh, Olili and ask if um, the problem really is we not, it's because let me, let me build it this way. These same people, when they have their parties, who do they call? They call the musicians to come and perform for them. It means that they appreciate that you have some value and you give them some sort of entertainment. If they want to sell product, they use known faces, celebrities as their influencers. It means that they recognize that we have some value. And so that's why they are using, they believe that you can sell their products. They want to, they want to do, uh, what's it called, uh, a campaign. Mostly they are looking for known faces, celebrities. But how come when it's time to invest so like you're saying so oh let that policies you know because, because I, I want to ask whether it is every time i say let's look at ourselves again could it also be that we haven't packaged ourselves well we haven't put ourselves together now we are looking at and then i'm because i'm drawing from this hip life conversation where now we want to look at like you're saying let's have a sitting and that's the same question I'll ask you because I doubt it will ever happen. I doubt people no, will cooperate. I doubt if we would ever make headway. Mm -hmm. It's like we ourselves sometimes begin to think that are the problem because we would, they'll call us for every other thing to come and make them happy, but they won't call us when they want to you go for investment. Mm -hmm. Because maybe in their mind, what are this, how this will carry themselves over the years? That they are still fighting about who owns hip life. They are fighting over this. They are doing this. They are, and so people are quite jittery, if, you, if, you, if I may say, when it comes to us. So don't you think that it is we ourselves? Because there's a creative, when you go and argue, so there's a ministry that we've created for you people, but you people are not assessing the ministry, you're not using the ministry. But when we come together, there's one bad knot or two of them that will say, hey, as for me, we are not going this way, we are not going that direction. So sometimes I say, it is we. Completely. I, so, so there is, okay. are we going to ever make a headway? Because I, this is your meeting, uh, Chamukwami, in the next few months or next few years, uh -huh. when we ask you, so we sat and somebody said no and somebody said this and that will be the end of it. Ms. G. I suspect. Now, I want him to answer that before you come in. Okay. So what's the question? So I'm saying that, one, the first one, I think you've agreed with me. that oh, Of we, course. Us, everything begins and ends with you. Mm, so how do we move from there? We have to sit down. We must sit down. And when I say we, I mean Reggie Rockstone. Mm. I mean Ochiame Kwame, I mean, I mean Bright, I mean Obrafo, I mean Tic Tac, I mean Hammer, JQ, Apietus, Morris, Kunti Hine. All of us who are able to pay our children's school fees because of the word hip life, hmm. all of us must sit down and to have a plan and decide on the direction, whether to let it go or to find a way to onboard younger artists by solving the problems that we didn't solve. 
you think, think it's Shata possible? mentioned this thing oh, before. Of course, this is easy. When because he, if, if it's possible, when he how, traveled, how come we haven't he said done that this over the period? If have, it's really possible. We have not done it because we compete. And we just competing. But, Aren't we still competing? No, but we compete in a negative way. Mm. Competition in a healthy. positive way is good. Mm. Yeah, it's not healthy. Exactly. We compete in an unhealthy way. And because of the concept of me first. When I'm the buyer. When I'm yes. the buyer. When I'm the buyer. Uh, me first. And then I also want to be the one with all the awards in my room. I want to be the one with all the uh, ambassador deals. I want to be the first hip life artist who uh, <laughs> traveled with the president. Mm. So unless we go back, you see, we are, that's why the whole thing is about conflict, though. But before the inter-conflict, there's an intra-conflict. Mm. We need to fix the intra-conflict first and come to the point where we understand that the purpose of life is to love. Mm. Once we get there, everything else will be healthy. Let's just imagine there's a brand like Afro Chella. I'm just saying this as an idea. I had changed the name from Afro Chella to a hip instead of another Afro. I mean, it, it, it boils down back to a lot of these small, small, small things. Like, and I'm not saying that, that that's what they should do. I, mean, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know the purpose and agenda of, the, of it, but I'm just saying that bits and pieces of things can be added on to just change the mindset. Intentional branding. You know, mm -hmm. Intentional branding, you know, around what we should do. Like, deliberate, and it, it must be intentional. You know, media houses, look, you know what, let us stop using the word Afrobeats. Let's stop. Nobody should say mm -hmm. Afrobeats any longer. All your artists are yeah, Afrobeats. You know, it's... it's, it's, it's I wanted yeah. to... Yeah, okay. That's how they eat. Mm. Mm. I, I so you can, we can't fault devil's, them, right? Devil's yeah, advocate mm. on um, the government side. <clears throat> and uh, it's basically simple. Like you said, a lot of our experiences for from the 90s, from 89 to, let's say, 99, were American influences. European music was not influencing Ghanaian music as much as American influence. But within that same time frame, American music was influencing Ghanaian music in two ways, R&B and hip-hop. And for both of those, R&B was highly sexualized and hip-hop was highly violent. Criminalized. Criminalized, exactly. <laughs> there was a lot of violence, inter-gang uh, uh, culture, gun culture, I'll shoot you down, me and my clique, West Coast, East Coast, blah, blah, blah. And as much as we try to naturalize that music in Ghana, a lot of the negatives came through. There was no filter. So it started with the appearance, how people dressed, sagging pants, big jeans, that kind of tops, uh, wear T-shirts with a big skull on it. Then we brought in a foreign culture to represent what we were trying to localize as music and that is why the parents and the government and the main stakeholders felt that this thing was divisive and negative so they could hear the music and say that kwame's music is nice but when they look at kwame and the industry is in and the people around him they wouldn't want that industry to thrive because it looks negative negative. and to answer miss g's question when they need you in a small capacity right come and play one show they can call you to come and play one show because in that mode, you are not distractive. But calling Kwame to come and play one show for a minister is totally different from enabling 200 rappers who they cannot control. You understand? So I don't think the government necessarily failed to identify and enable. It's that when the government looked at the industry, what it saw and where the reference point was, was not something they thought it was wise at the time to enable, take into consideration the geopolitical landscape of Ghana in the 90s. We now were not stable like that. Than to go and enable people who were doing music that was referenced on America, where the same rap, blues, soul, jazz was used for civil rights movements and for you, you but, yeah, but I, want, I would like to disagree with you. But yeah, okay. because I was small I, because, uh, okay. because if they didn't enable hip life. Did they enable Den Siomo? Did they enable Bobobo? Did they enable High Life? They didn't. The key thing is that the, 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 the Akan word for art is agro. And that same word pans to means play. playing. And that's what the So that is where the, at the back of their yeah. minds, 
It's not accounting. So it was never co considered as work. Yes, it is not legal. Even today, 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 my mom asked me, well, now that you've done a master's, when are you getting a real job? Mm. Exactly. That's all the achievements. E exactly. So it is the way we look at technical and artistic but skill Nkrumah is that nafti these auditoriums Nkrumah yebi yes he did some that's why there must be continuity and Nkrumah alone cannot erase harm that has been caused since 1801 everybody has a role to play academia media artists storytellers everybody until we get to that point so and we've all the, neglected our roof everybody including you and I so mm. the key thing is that President Kufo said, let us wear African wear on Friday. On oh, Friday, mm. I think that's And now look, it has affected the textile <coughs> and, yeah. you know, yeah. fashion that industry works. completely. Yeah. Our President Anado said, uh, come back home, you know, year of You're return. return. Mm -hmm. Now, traveling to Ghana makes more money than almost everything. Mm. That means so, if we actually focus on doing these things, we will actually have to for a decade. Yeah. Exactly. For a decade, everything a, will be fixed. A champion said, Tighten your belts, no. everyone grow some small, small no, gardens no, behind yeah. you. And then Ghana food production went up. So it is important that leadership has a role to play. <clears throat> if you look at, if you put 20 ants together or 100 ants together, one will emerge as a leader. If you put 100 bees together, one will emerge as a leader. If you put 100 foxes together, one will be the head. 100 lions, one will emerge. Which means in nature, leadership is key. So with leadership saying that, let all young people, let it is, it is, it is pride, national pride, when a young person decides to become a carpenter, mm. who is an artist, or decides to become a farmer, or when a young person is done with the university and then he's producing music, and then we have iconographics of all that in town, mm. and then we have big people who have become successful on television, and other young people can look at them and see this mm. is a Pietus. His life is amazing. I'm going to be a producer. Until mm. the leadership decides to curate that type of mind-changing convo, we are not going anywhere. Mm. Because the, the, the issues that bedeviled hip life, mm -hmm. they are bedeviling the fashion industry. They are bedeviling trade. They are bedeviling film. Tri film. They are bedeviling everything, production, fashion, everywhere. So we need to come back to the conversation of, of self-love. Again, mm -hmm. again. But uh, Shami, how is it going to be possible? Because when I said that, oh, uh, are, I think you said you're not fighting over Afrobeat. Mm -hmm. You know, you said it because that's how they make money. How then, even if this conversation you intend to have with your other brothers happen, how then do we begin to change the mindset of these artists that, because the last time I was listening to a conversation on the same topic, and they say, check all the stats or the bio of your favorite artists, even the ones you know for sure are doing hip hop, hip life, all of them I, I do not have them. I said, don't say, oh, except me. Okay, so at least I've looked of at them. my own. Okay, most of them. <laughs> because I was, Wikipedia I was, right now, you see a hip life, hip hop, high so, life. So artist. we're looking at just bio from social media, but maybe you have it there. Yes, like I if do. you go to the bio, because the person actually mentioned names of some of the people, and they have other things than the hip life. So the person was just buttressing uh, Manifest's point that it was dead. But I'm bringing that question to you based on the fact that you said that's how they make their money. How do we then begin to convince them that if you come back to say you're a hip life art or you're a hip life artist, you can make money? How do we get uh, the um, music system to acknowledge this hip life? Or are we going to fuse it under a certain Afrobeat so that, you know, because you said that that is what is recognized. How are we yeah. going to make it work? Uh, for me, I, for look, observing my children, young people don't listen. No. It is a <laughs> gift. They don't listen. They shouldn't. If they did, they would be as dumb as their parents. Oh, sh they shouldn't. Young they people make the mistakes of their parents. Exactly. Yeah. Young people watch what you are doing. Then mm. they decide to let it inspire the them or, or go somewhere yeah. else. Right? Mm. So I don't think we need to sit young rappers and singers down. I'm Eugene, and we need to say that Chin Chin do hip life. We must become better. And if our lives become better and we become responsible and we treat each other with love and we make money and we become internationally recognized and we diversify, we use <coughs> our images properly, 
young people <laughs> o- openly say that I'm a hip life artist. Is it not too late? Is it not too late? I think, no. no. You know what? I think, <laughs> let, 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 me, let me say this. I so, remember. So, like I'm saying, the reason why it because has to be intentional. No, no, no. When I'm doing it, uh-huh. when, when artists come to me for mm-hmm. voiceovers mm-hmm. to do um, promos for their events, I think it is about time that maybe a few years ago, I remember I'll be saying hip life concerts, hip life concerts. But I think now I'm realizing that over the past like five, seven years, I don't remember the last time I ever the, said hip life concert. The, the only hip life concert is mine on the it's, 25th it's yours. of December. Exactly. Yes. Mm-hmm. It, intentionally so, so, trying to hold so on to it. So if, it. if yes. we did, uh, uh, what was this guy's event over the, in Kwame MP was what, a Bongo or something? Mm. Black and Bongo Fest. Yeah, Bongo, Bongo Fest. Fest. Um, Shay, all, of, all those are hip life concerts. If we start, yeah. imagine if a voiceover is going to play on five radio stations and even starts hammering hip life concert. It then boxes the artists into a certain space. The, the, the consumers understand what they are going to. It starts reading on the lips of people. Gradually, I think that, you see, it's for the, for the DSP, for the, these platforms, it's business as well. Over the period when they realize that, okay, it looks like um, for the past five years, all we've been hearing is this branded music. But let's now create a certain... Because for them, it, it, it's, creating it is just coding. It's nothing difficult. It's just code it, and then it will help people have a better search engine when they're looking for, for the things. But nobody is talking about it. No, no, we've let it. We've just let it go and made the word hip life look like... I'm saying, when you mention hip life artist, make it look like a back-in-the-day artist. Yeah. You know? And that's why I feel like we have done the service to some artists who have even managed to transition from hip life era like yourself. Hip life era to the current uh, era that we are in. That's like so relevant. TikTok. Look at how can we how can we even not appreciate TikTok? Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <laughs> Weren't we in this country where we jumped to a human hair, you were hand or Fefenefe TikTok collaboration with Tony Tetu? Like true. weren't we in the where, wasn't it us? Who once spoke highly of this artist? No, and today, who once spoke highly of uh, Achiami? Yeah, and like, no, 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 like I'm saying, like, <laughs> what, what are we doing to the legends of hip life music? It's very mm-hmm. simple. It's lack of documentation. Lack of, like lack of documentation, documentation. which we are not ready no. to do. No. You see, documentation is for you put something in documentation for reference. Mm-hmm. But when you are thinking progressively, it's not about documentation. It's about uh, uh, amplification. Bro. But if right? you don't if have you a want, document see, to look back bro, I'm, I'm to, how do you write? No, there is no, 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 see, no see, let me, see, Nobody will sit down and write a document. Let me see. see. No, no, you know he said documentation. He's not saying writing. You could have been talking about his documentation. It's in our DNA to realize that Ochami Kwame mm-hmm. is a legend, and we need right. to accept it. Wait, that's not to, that's that's not to say documentation. Like I agree with you. Not to say things so like let's say that oh. how many years after Ochami Kwame is Hip gone, life. I'm gone. Where's the document? It is yes. where is so of that's what, what he has that's done. That's what he's saying. That there should have been a what video by now. Telling the Ochami Kwame journey. This is the same thing you are saying. There's a tip that should be somewhere. The amplification of anything, right? documents it simultaneously. If I put a spotlight on you, that mm-hmm. I want the whole world to know Miss G, mm-hmm. and I amplify you, there's billboards, I have PR around you. Once I am amplifying you, the documentation is being created. Mm. What I amplified yesterday has been documented. It is what not intentionally created. No. What he's talking do, about. No. What, what, who, 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 what do we know about Kim Kardashian? Wait, wait, let, Where let, is Kim Kardashian being? Wait, let's hear him though. Yeah. A new artist will come out of America today mm-hmm. and know about Tupac. Why? There's documentation. Which documentation? When you say documentation? Are there movies that yeah, Tupac stories? stories. There, there are stories there are everywhere. About these yeah, things. Yeah, they're Tupac, watching them. Bro, I'm coming, no. When Tupac them. was not I'm, being I'm amplified, no, when, when, he was, when he was at the, at the height, when um, Tupac was Tupac, if he was not being has, amplified, um, you know, right, those, sto- those stories wouldn't have value as documentation. He's not talking paperwork. I get him when he said that. The same way we were able to translate. The same way we were able to translate and convert from cassettes to CDs to pen drives to digital digital um, audio content. It's the same way I'm talking about documentation. Uh, no, I want to understand what the is documentation. documentation. We are what talking are we about documenting? documenting some of these stories. Which stories? The stories, like the hip life stories. Can no, I but, come no, in? no, hold on. They are they are they are documentaries of hip life. Where? Oh, please Google right now. No, books. Go on. Where? No, no, come here. No, no, no. They are. Oh, they are oh, no, no, they are. They are. They are. Okay, they are. Can I come in? Where? They are available. I mean, when you go to KNUS, you'll find them there. I'm, Jay, I'm a product of... of, of Jay. Uh, then, Jay, then this conversation, we don't need to have that. Right. No, have no, that yeah, no, you are choosing. And use it. No, hold on. The because guy is choosing I, up. I, I, hold on. My, it's, it's a two-part conversation I'm going to have right now. Okay. When you I have want the, to come when back when you have to you on that. When you have the proper documentation, right, then you have the media 
amplifying the documentation of what you're talking about. Only I want to I disagree and I'll clarify no, for I'm you. I want to understand the documentation very Look, well. Look, today we have the opportunity to have a Chamber Kwame telling our stories. Mm -hmm. How often are we going to do this? We are having this conversation <sighs> because Biba, to no, We are having this conversation today because a BBC documentary was out. In the that next, didn't favor us. In the no. next week or two, maybe no. in, the, in the next week or two, this conversation will change. No. True. We are not going to have... I oh, agree. Okay, allow there me. are stories, there are documentaries no, let him, let that life. No, let him make his point. There are documentaries of hip life. No, I... Jay, let's... Okay, where, 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 I, finish. I want to of finish. Where, Hold on, you finish. Go, hmm. go on Google right now. Type... Type, Bro, I've, I've type said, hip I've life documentary. So, so why, why, wait, I will look forward to for it. If there the even link. is, why are we having this conversation then? No. We should have been that's shoving that, that yeah. documentation no. on we everybody. We are having the conversation. We are having the conversation we because felt, somebody came from somewhere. A Ghanaian producer. A Ghanaian No, don't get it outside. confused. No, 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 no. A child come say something. Uh -huh. We are having this conversation because we felt the documentation done by a platform like BBC uh -huh. didn't sit well with us. It doesn't mean uh -huh. that we don't have documentaries so, so, so about her life. Have don't it, get it confused. We have if it. we have those documentaries, why have oh, it? But if, but if, exactly, if uh, I agree with somebody you comes to my house to come and say something and it's false about me, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that my household hasn't no, done... No, uh, no, the, uh, no. If the, no. the past documentaries were there, BBC wouldn't see the need. To document in fact, even the people no. who are contributing, no. Guys, if, no, if, 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 no, have you seen? Have you seen? Have you seen BBC do a today's documentary on hip hop? The yeah. Americans, there are, there the are documentaries of, of hip hop. The Americans who brought the hip hop, the hip -hop, hip -hop are already leading Olele, the conversation you, in hip hop. They will no, not wait for BBC. That, that's to what I agree with. Yes, that's what no, I'm saying. Leading their conversation. They're leading their conversation on hip hop. No. If we have to wait for another uh, another country, but we another haven't media. waited for any of them. We have. What do you mean that we have? Is it telling me that there are no documentaries? What was the last time you saw a documentary? It's on YouTube. From when? Are you talking about the platform releasing it? Are you talking about? Like Nana. Okay, said documentation. Are you saying we should write it down? No. No, I'm saying that, Achami Kwame, from your time to now, there's been several generations of hip life, right? Yes. I bet I, I beg to differ. But if you put somebody in the last 10 or 15 years talk about hip life, that person might not even have it as in-depth as you do. Hmm? Because you remember it clearly. You remember, you remember how it, the government was like, how the policy was like, and so on and so forth. We've not been able to translate that time to now. The reason why I brought in a hip hop convention is because today someone can actually lead a conversation on hip hop as it is today. You are telling us hip life today and what we went wrong and everything. Today, if I bring a new school hip life artist today to come and tell us the history of hip life, you miss it. Mm -hmm. It's true, but I have the book of hip life. I don't know what you're saying. No, but even that, I'm saying that there is all the 20 professor, years of Ghana professor, Music Awards, uh -huh. awarding hip life artists, it's also documented. Document. All the music videos we are Collins, doing is documented. All the what the bloggers are writing. No, no, can I come in? All of them. I don't know. I tend to agree with him. I don't think people are understanding him. What he's saying is that if, for instance, this conversation you said if we were going to have, I'm sure when you have it, the issue about how did this come about, who contributed, who did it, will be squashed during that your conversation. No, we'll just write a, uh, we will just write a minute. Exactly. So if you and, write and, minute, and I will not put the minute in public. Okay, wait. Because it will be a dangerous that document. Will, uh -huh, that will also be <laughs> another problem. If I get what he's trying to say, yes. this conversation will not be what we'll be having now because there would have been reference to say, oh, there was a documentation that said in a certain year, this is how the journey began. These right. are the people who played certain roles at that point. This is what happened. That is how it translated to this. This is how it, so that even me, when tomorrow I'm asked a story, I'll make reference to that documentation. That I read the book according to the hip lifers from 1970 or 1990, written by so 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 and so. It's just as we make reference to history books and written so 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 and so by these people. They said according to that book, Someday, or they I'm said according a, to that a, documentation. A, a but all that we have, no, all that we have. Basically, if I get what he's saying, all Shall that we, we have, in? they are conflating um, remarks to everything we've had or read in the past or heard. And that is why today still this conversation Olele. is rife. Hear me. They are Olele. PhD thesis. All right. No, no. PhD thesis. And Hear me out. Let's, let's do this. We have uh, about 30 minutes okay. to go. I want, us to be, I want to give everybody ah. the chance to react on this thing. Mm -hmm. So I want to be sure that you are, you are done with your point. So I, let's see your reaction. Yeah, I, have, I have a second part, but let's, let's hear it. Okay. All right. Sure. See you. I don't agree with documentation being the solution. And here's why. If you are referencing that for what we have lost... It's part of the solution. I didn't say it, it's the solution. For it's what we have lost, right, in the past, yes, we need to go back and document that. And that is archiving, right, where we realize that we have been naive to a period in history and we need to go and mine 
from the people who were there at that time, and we archive that as a historical just whatever no documentation. No, no, no. Yeah, that's what I'm saying now. So if it's just for what we have lost, so let's go and find it, mm -hmm. hundred percent. Mm -hmm. But as a means to fix our problem in Ghana, henceforth. Not just for hip life, but for everything we are doing, creative arts. Amplification is the only way that we can make sure that things survive and self document. The reason why the whole world knows about Afrobeats is because the amplification is crazy, right? You have Chris Brown, DJ Khaled, Japanese people, Korean people doing Afrobeats, and that amplification is causing it to self document. Nobody needs to sit down now and say, where did Afrobeat because, start? Because, because that, oh, let me, let me, I, I, you understand, nobody needs to sit down and make a conscious effort that we need to document Afrobeat. Because the amplification is making sure that it's like leaving footprints in the sand. As we are walking, the documentation is happening as we are progressing. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? So my thing is that once we, the only way to solve this is to amplify it. When Azunto made impact, it was amplified and it was making it was making impact <laughs> in London. Nobody said, "Let me take Azunto to London." Fuse but the the when the moment Fuse touched Azunto in London, it's self-documented. Today, if you pick up Azunto's history anywhere or you ask anybody, the write. sequence will happen without anybody having to be the owner of that documentation but process. Gasmela so my problem is something different bro, from Azunto. You made you made a reference to Tupac. Mm. Tupac was amplified. Mm -hmm. To park B.I.G., Snoop Dogg, West Coast, East Coast mm -hmm. was amplified because of their gang culture mm -hmm. and the mainstream media having to cover them because they were not, the, to park and B.I.G. were not covered because they were the best hip hop artists. Yeah, but they definitely had impact on society. No, let me, let me tell you, Whether to park, it was good or bad, bro, impact to, on park, to park B.I.G., West Coast, East Coast beef, Suj Knights and Co. were not captured in the modern day, in the dailies and the mainstream media because people loved hip hop. It was because of the negativities, gang culture, gang violence. Still an yes, but that was still amplification, mm -hmm. right? If you can have CNN talking about the beef between West Coast and East Coast, it's amplification. Mm -hmm. And that amplification self documents. Mm -hmm. So today, when they want a, a, a Tupac movie, they just type Tupac and a CNN article will pop up. That's what I'm saying that if we take a new artist today, right, and we have a hip life artist today, Olele, instead of trying to document Olele's every step, Amplify Olele to the world. And in 10 years, the Social documentation will document 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 That's what I was going to say, that because of the era we are in now, if you amplify, it will document because of the era. Social media will document it today. If, but in their era, and that's why you didn't get him, what you said about documentation is going back and you've agreed already because that's what he's saying. If we already had the document from back in the day, which document? That's what I'm saying. That it's oh, not just the era. The document is not, it's not just the era. That's no, why no, I gave the example. Oh, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Please, 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 hold on. I, I, that, I, I, let's please finish it up properly. <coughs> You're saying documents. I'm asking so the what story, documents. the story, the story. So a digital story, who whatever documented it is. Bob Marley's so, so, who, I, documented, I, I, who documented Bob Marley's life and journey? Nobody. Nobody. Bob, Bob Marley was so amplified because he led. That's what I'm saying. He led the. Uh, the, oh, he led. Uh, uh, no, uh, 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 Cyril, hold on. Cyril, uh, I beg you. Uh, please. Cyril, I have to write you. Let me ask. Cyril, so Cyril, 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 I have killed Mike. Let me ask. It's let, on, let, let me ask. Let me ask. But, let, based on what he said, let yeah. me ask. Yeah. 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 What was the amplification mm. like in your day? It was big, oh. Hip life was big. Pa. What led? What led to the amplification? Was it mass media? I think it's daily. What was it? It was the fact that it was new. It was refreshing and disruptive. Okay. So. Everybody was interested. I remember graphic showbiz used to write about hip life almost every day. Awards came okay. to had hip life. Are Anna you, Music Awards, Great Life things. Awards, Kokoma Awards. Okay. All, the, all those things were also From documenting it. But I agree with you to a point that someone who knows how to use literary devices, a historian, must go back, collect all of it, and maybe have a board to relook at it from an objective Thank perspective. Thank you very much. So Agreed. that people do not bring their branding and their Thank exaggerations into the story. So then we have created a Agreed. historic Agreed. path And I agree with that already. Yes. Now, okay. So you're saying so the second that... second part of my conversation So, yeah, you don't have because time. Of time. So, you, yes. you have time. I'll give you. <laughs> so, I just want to understand. So, you are saying that you want to have a digital video. 
I'm asking because you say documentary. I want to drill it down to understand, bro, please. Bro, so let no, me, no, don't feel bad me, about no, it. Let me give you I'm, a, I'm let, asking let, you. Let me give you a simple example. No, let me ask a question. No, you are, if I, I know where you're going. What are you going? I know how he's going. That's I want that. No, you don't know again. You don't know. I'm asking you. Your wife will slap you. No, wait. He has never finish another person's question. Please. So I'm asking you that you're looking for a digital video on a platform or available on disc or disket or. I'm so what I, that, when you say documentation, I'm I want to understand. That the documentation would help in the ampli the way we want to amplify the story. For example, which documentation? The documentation of so what you want to know. You so want to want to, I, I'm asking. I'm not answering. You know, could, look, that's why I asked him. What was it could be a book. Like, it could be a video. So let's no, no. Listen, we are solution driven. So I want him to document what he's saying. That we should have a library. No, I'm not fighting you. I'm just bro, adding to bro, I'm asking. Me, I'm, I'm, I'm the trajectory I am on. Yes. I'm on the trajectory of intentionality. Yes. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm yes. on the trajectory of intentionality. Clearly, there's a big problem. There's a big gap. And the gap is a lack of education. Hmm. The new school rappers or the new school hip lifers don't even know the originality of what they are doing. Who, who is there a new school hip life? I've not uh, seen oh, one. You, you see? So, so my point is, so you said a he documentation. is saying that they need to go back and have a meeting. I am speaking on behalf of the media. What have we done from his time to now to make sure that that genealogy is still kept intact? Because that's the closest to the original product we have from the side. Now, we have months that we celebrate heritage months and whatnot, right? Which media house? Please, there is. Hits FM will hold you if you No, I'm, I'm coming. I'm, I'm coming. I'm they coming. have, they have months for I hip life. They said, they said, they said, they said, they said they should, uh, they should, they should, they should be copied. Everybody. Who so documented like, Rollins' life? I'm saying I'm coming. GBC. Who documented Rollins' life? I'm coming. I'm saying that. How often <laughs> do you see some of these stories? That, that's my last question for How me. often do you see some of these <laughs> stories talked about on our media? He just mentioned hits her from my mother. He's from Wembley. Great. So you, you think I'm fighting you? That's why I'm, I'm not trying saying to. You're fighting not saying you're me. Fighting I only asked a question. Now, my last. Now, that's my, hey, you still have a last thing to say. No, because yeah, I, I, I asked that question for a reason. Yeah. Because we have a new disruptive movement like Asaka. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? And from what Ochemi Kwame has shared with us, my fear is that if we do not learn the lessons from what they went through, mm -hmm. Asaka, 10, 20 years. We will come back, or our sons and daughters will come it's back on this platform. Oh, serious? If they you? amplify a oh, saka, no, no, let me no, no, tell you. No, no. If that's they amplify a saka, my brother, what you said right now about saka is flawed. Okay, let me clarify. Okay, this is no way. Why? Let me land this. Let me land this. I beg you. If they amplify a saka, if they amplify, when we had, when we had, when we had, Sirio, please wait. I beg you. I need him to end. You have five minutes left, please. There is. And you have, you have thirty seconds. I asked a question. Hey, I've killed this mic. I've killed this mic. I asked a question. Yes. on the premise. Yeah. That is why I, I wasn't I wasn't there during that time. That's why I asked the question. What was the amplification like? He said show they wrote stories about them. I don't know how yeah. often it was. It was it, it was, was on TV, it was on radio and everything. And I was saying we that we have shows every weekend we played. Good. Then you have a new destructive movement like Asaka. Okay, Mikwame, from where you sit, look at what it was like for you in the day and now. I did the same thing. No. No. So my fear is okay. if we do not so, learn the lessons in the name of this same application so, I'm talking so, about, so, okay. we will come back 10 years hold on, hold and time. we will come back 10 years from Serious? today okay. and have an issue with the fact that Asaka did not go global. Okay, hold on, Please, hold, I, on I, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, Ms. Ms. G, quickly. So I just Googled quickly. something yeah. and it tells me that I said, I wanted to ask, when did hip life start in Ghana? It says 1994. Is, is it true? Yes, but it wasn't you called. See, no, you, but if you can't do free, he said, but no, then you. Oh, Miss G, he said, but no, you see, you see what? Because I don't want Google, so open Google, I know that. Let me finish. Why are you Google? I search engine optimization. You can't use that. Miss G, hold on. So, what do we use now? What we need to Miss G, hold on. No, no, it's answering the question I'm asking. I want to go. What do we use now? So, the historians in Ghana must. If they think that hip life is an important art form, or was an important and influential art form, they people with the authority to write something that can be held as truth or fact, based on a peer review, must write it down and put it where everyone can go and see it, not through search engine optimization. Yeah, because that will generate a lot of based on where so you are. So do you understand exactly. the documentation no, now? No. Um, so I asked the question, and I haven't still gotten an answer to the question. You asked And I okay, think I need a, an okay, answer ask before me, we ask me the question. Please, when Olele speaks of documentation, I want to understand. 
is it are we talking about a uh, a digital document a film or something that is in, archived in anything you can um, think about this december anything you see <laughs> okay <laughs> so that's what you make reference I, I don't but he just want to answer that yeah, please <coughs> yes, i want to to talk Jay, because we are, our time is up that's why i didn't give you a digital so, was because documentation can have several forms okay so as much as possible okay, what so we have from, available from papers to digital to film he gave to the template all, he, gave, he just answered templates. you to, he gave the okay so now i want to ask now i want to ask a question bro before mm. before oh, you can God. get no, well, back up five minutes so this mic yes i've killed this mic um I, so now I, I want to ask that do we not have digital written uh, or representations or documents of our of our story i think we have something but we can learn from him uh, an authority must sit down put it together and put it at a place where everyone can assess it that's mm. one i think we should do it Okay, because if I do, I am currently shooting a hip okay. life documentary, which is focused on Your making story. me the icon. Mm -hmm. yeah. Once we put that out, even though it's a documentary, it's about my brand positioning. Yeah, great. You know, so an authority without biases mm -hmm. must sit down and do it. But that is mm -hmm. only when they think it's a valuable thing to do. If they don't think it's a valuable thing, they shouldn't do it. Okay, now I, then to ask. Ask this, so I'm just googling something real quickly. Um, um, I checked when did hip hop start. Ah, that's Go a lot. I just hip hop. Start. Ah, okay. Hey. Me <laughs> It gave me mm, a lot said. of websites <laughs> with various stories, and one of the top websites was AtlanticSomething.com. Mm. I googled when did hip life start. It gave me Wikipedia and gave me um, Ghana Web. <laughs> I ask, do we not respect Ghana Web? We do. We so Wikipedia too. Good. So all these but are platforms. That question, no. he said all these are search engines. I've killed her mic. But all these are platforms that are telling the stories based on because I've watched various documentaries on the the uh, what you call it the conspiracy theories around the death of Tupac, and every platform shares what they think it is. I've seen someone. Uh, I've watched some on DSTV's uh, platforms. I've right. seen some on YouTube, and they all tell the stories on different from different angles. But of course, you you would not have one place tell you what you think is true. The truth will be what you also perceive it, it it is. And I don't think we are far off with what hip life, what has been told so far about hip life. If you sit down here, you mention who started hip life, the name Reggie will pop up. Was BBC wrong in saying that? No. no. So, like what Siola is saying, the documentation is happening naturally by itself. Hmm. It is how big we amplify it and the footprint that will be left at the background. Yes, if you amplify it, tell, you No, you don't need anybody it. to walk to Ministry of Tourism to go and look for documents. And BBC does not need to go to Ministry of Tourism to go and look for documents. They will tell the story from where they see it as. Yes. It doesn't necessarily mean that BBC is right or wrong. It is what, like you said, it's where they decided to, 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 to tell the story from. Perspective. And, in fact, the persons they use in the documentary are not wrong in any way. Because they are, they've all been in the, in the hip life, hip hop story, or or, or, or of it already, you know. So I, I feel like it's it's I I side him with Syria when he says that it's the amplification. No matter it is how big you blow it up, naturally it will leave a certain indelible mark on the people, and they would all they would mm. all everybody who wants to go back to it. In fact, when you ask ten people, nine will tell you that Reggie Rockstone. Yeah. Anybody who says a name other than Reggie. It's then telling you a conspiracy theory around it, yeah. you know. Who is documenting Black Sheriff? Nobody. He but Black Sheriff is documenting because itself. of the amplification. The numbers are on iTunes. Ex Spotify, exactly. So, yes. so 10 years from now, when anybody Googles Black Sheriff, the first day he made an appearance will be there. He'll be there. Because he was so amplified. Because and the all his mind is working there. now. The internet is documenting. <laughs> oh, but Mali, but Mali was amplified. Mali was Jimmy like, Cliff was amplified. Fuji's was amplified. Just okay. Osibi Sam, you don't have internet. In your time. Olele, do you have the full story of Osibi Sam? Miss G, Miss G, Miss G. I've killed this mic, don't worry. I've killed this mic, please. I want Olele to finish up and then we'll take your channel Pamela's last message, please. The amplification in your time, was it... Was it, was it intentional? Was it automatic or right it was now? You paid I like your jacket. It was, it was all of it. <laughs> it was all of it. Oh, yeah. We, we paid uh, yeah. journalists mm -hmm. to, to say the things we needed to say so we could win awards and, mm. and, and play our shows. Mm. We, we did all that. PR. You know, we did PR. It was, it was part of it. And then I have seen books, even in the US, of uh, I think uh, Professor Osad, something, okay. even you know, about hip life. That's. Mm. 
she did a great job. She came to live in Ghana for four years. Yeah. To talk. When you read uh, uh, John Collins's book on hip life. Yeah. I, I, Our lifetime. Yes. When you read it, where the whole uh, series, series on hip three. life, it yeah. is accurate. When you but people pick, disputed it too, you know of, that. Of course, it's because well, even Jesus Christ, Christ they are yes. disputing. When, when, you, know, more. when <laughs> you pick, when you take the cultural studies book, now the cultural mm. studies book in the JSS today, mm. it has Ochiame Kwame Lord Kenya and Reggie Rockstone in it, mm. Mm. telling the hip life story. So I honestly think that there are some spasms of documents mm. scattered around. An authority must bring it together, and then based on that which has now been perceived conventionally as fact, then a storyteller can put that into a videomentary and put it on your Netflix, on YouTube or Netflix or somewhere, and then we will generate the buzz about it for everyone to go and see it so that our story will become bigger than the foreign story. I count story. a Nigerian stole mm. Afrobeat and put it on the thing. All right, peace. Um, the nice message jacket, that we, we, we left out, and let me just apologize to our, our, our audience listening. Um, Roger, I see your message here. It says, it says, J.N. Uh, Ole, our current Deputy Minister of Tourism and Arts and Culture, was once uh, once managed Lord Kenya, Swazi B, Joe Fraser, and other top artists. What is he doing now to help um, <coughs> a lot? Um, Prince says, too much knowledge and education on three music culture mm -hmm. daily with uh, Chami Kwame as well. well thank you very much as well and loads of messages here i'm sorry our time is up we have to go but prince thank you so much as well um Ochami, Ochami, thank you so very much you've really taken enjoyed, it to another yeah. level yeah. Of this, this this i also had a great time yeah. great questions yeah honest vibe what you have documented till today if we are going to uh, you're the one of the only persons who if for us who do videos and use uh, artist music you know uh for as promotion, mm -hmm. um, anytime it's got to do with Ghana patriotism, we, mm -hmm. we've stopped using it from Amu. Now we're using it. I'm made in Ghana. Ghana. That's true. Exactly. Without permission, That's thank true. you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you. All right, on that note, uh, we're back here same time tomorrow on Culture Daily, and we're out.